Welcome into my channel Everything PS. With UMD. In this tutorial, we are gonna talk about source and program monitors. View your clips in the source and program monitors. For this lesson, I'm using the 0202. Source and program monitors project. You can find that with the media that comes with this lesson. Just double click on the project file. To open it. Most of the time you'll invest in video editing will be spent watching clips and making creative choices. About them, you use the source monitor. I'm here to preview clips on the program monitor over here on the right. To preview the sequences, you add them too. So that's not in a little bit more about the source and program monitors. You can double click on any clip in the project panel. To open it in the source monitor, you can play or stop using this button at the bottom, or you can use the space bar. At the bottom left hand corner, you can see we've got the series off 8 digits. I in fact we've got something very similar over on the right. And this is a cold time code. It's measuring where we are in the clip. In terms of hours, that's the first number of minutes, seconds, and individual frames. I can tell by looking at the bottom right hand corner here. The generation of the clip. It's for 0 hours, 0 minutes, 13 seconds and 14 frames long. But the bottom left hand corner is telling me where I am. Relative to all of the media that the camera recorded originally. It's pretty common for professional camera operators to begin at different hours. We went for 6 hours. 42 minutes into this shot. The camera probably began recording at 6 hours. Just to make it easier to identify with one batch of media from another. As we move through the clip you can see these numbers change. If I click and drag at the bottom of the clip, I can move to view different parts of it. This could be a quick way of familiarizing yourself with your media. And in fact, clicking and dragging in this way is called scrubbing. If you want to move through the clip more precisely, you can use these. One frame forward and one frame backward buttons. You can also use the arrow keys on the keyboard has the right arrow and the left arrow. It's quite possible you won't want to use all of a clip. Sometimes you'll have a very long recording where you only want 5 or 10 seconds. And you can tell Premiere Pro which part of the clip you want. Using special marks. These are called in or out marks. In mark is the beginning of the part you want. And we can add that mark by clicking the mark and button right here. I'll move my play head a bit later. In the clip and click the mark out button to specify the end of the part that I want. If I use this clip anywhere in a sequence, I'll only get this piece that's highlighted between the marks. I can update the marks anytime I like. So, if I click earlier on in the clip here in this mini timeline, I can click the mark and button again, and you can see the clip updates. Your Lotus as well now I've chosen a part of the clip. This duration indicator the bottom right corner has gotten shorter. Now we've just chosen 6 seconds and 23 frames. These marks are persistent. You can close the project. And they'll still be applied when you next view the clip. If you want to remove the marks. You can right click on the picture and choose clear in and out. The program monitor has the same controls as the source monitor. You can play. Stop. And so on. One major difference of course is that it's showing the contents of the sequence that we've created down at the bottom. If I scrub through the program monitor it'll screw up the playhead in the sequence as well. They were in and out marks here too. But when you add them, they're actually added to the sequence. And that's for a more advanced workflow that we don't need for now. So, I can right click on the program monitor. And choose clear in to out. Or for that matter, I can right click in the sequence right at the top with the numbers R. And choose clear into out as well in a way you could say that this timeline at the bottom of the program monitor is a mini version of the full timeline below it. That's an introduction to the source and program monitors in Adobe Premiere Pro. What you learned. Use the source and program monitors. Use the source monitor to preview clips before inserting them in a sequence. To play and pause playback use the playback controls or press the spacebar. You can also quickly drag, scrub, the blue playhead, current time indicator, at the bottom of the monitor, to the section of the clip you want to play. 
Click the mark in and mark out buttons to select a specific part of the source clip you want to add to the sequence. Use the program monitor to play your sequence. The program monitor playhead is synchronized with the playhead in the timeline panel. Finally do not forget to like, comment, share, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell button.